most of the greatest mental geniuses in history led strictly continent lives, which should result in superior brain nutrition from the conservation of lecithin and other brain nourishing semental constituents. Thus, among philosophers, we have Pythagoras, Plato, Aristotle, Porphyry, Proclus, Leibniz, Berkeley, Locke, Spinoza, Kant, and Spencer. Among artists, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Fra Angelica. Among composers, Handel and Beethoven. And among scientists, Newton. Upon reading of this information, I researched many study journals on the topic of semen and came across one that uncovers the connection between semen quality and genius. In 2009, a research journal was published that studied the relationship between semen quality and human intelligence. The results were very interesting. They discovered a positive correlation between one's sperm quality and intelligence. Three semen measures were analyzed in the study. Sperm concentration, sperm count, and sperm motility. These three aspects were selected as they are all associated with fertility. To determine intelligence levels, five neuropsychological tests that the participants had undertaken were analyzed. Conclusions found that intelligence correlated significantly and positively with all three measures of semen quality. In short, from this study we can infer that higher sperm quality has a positive correlation to higher intelligence. This notion that semen preservation nourishes the brain and that semen loss leads to brain degeneration has been shared throughout the ages in literature from medical doctors to spiritual leaders to swamis and so on. This study can give us further insight into how intelligence and our brain are intrinsically connected to the integrity of our semen and prostate. This brain-semen link has been discussed extensively by R. W. Bernard in his writings from over 70 years ago. The grey matter of the brain contains 17% lecithin, which is the essential and indispensable medium through which the higher intellectual processes manifest themselves. The greater the purity in which lecithin is found, the higher the intelligence of the animal, even in insects. The superior acuteness displayed, for instance, by bees and ants is due to this fact. The quality of these highly organized phosphorus compounds, i.e. lecithin, appears to be vitally connected with the intellectual capacity of the brain. In idiocy and insanity, there is a qualitative and quantitative diminution of brain lecithin. Could sexual abstinence be the key to generating the health of your brain and unlocking your own genius? There is only one way to find out.